Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we are going to draw front view, top view, left and side view and development of a cone of base diameter 42 mm and axis height of 60 mm which is resting on its base on HP with its axis perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP. So first we will draw HP VP like this. Horizontal plane, vertical plane, this is cone, right? So when you axis is perpendicular to HP, so top view will give you true shape and front view will give you triangle like this. So first we will draw XY line. We'll take radius 21 and we'll draw a circle of diameter 42. After that, we'll take all this extreme line up, axis line up, height which is 60. Then you mark dimensioning. We'll write XY. Diameter is 42. Then we'll draw side view. For side view, we'll take 45 degree. We'll extend the height. See like this. And we'll extend this extreme top and bottom surface also. So in side view also, you will see triangle. So we are done with front view, top view and side view. Now this is true length. Now see how will you draw development? Development would be like this. This angle would be theta. So we need to find that angle theta. So that is 180 into D upon true length. We have true length. So 180 into D diameter is how much? 42 true length. So that we need to calculate with scale. So with scale we can measure it. It would be 63. So the angle would be 120 degree. So what we need to do. First we'll draw one line. We'll mark true length on it. This true length. We can take it anywhere. But I will prefer taking vertical. Take this vertical line. Cut true length on it. Then you rotate. Now this angle is how much? 120 degree. So you take protractor and you mark 120 degree. So this is theta. So we are so we are done with. The development of a cone this is radial surface development now if you want total surface development then you draw a circle over here you can draw a circle anywhere after that you give width this we are doing for model making we can yeah, take approximately 5 to 6 mm or 10 mm whatever you like 
width and then you need to cut that object out draw lines at the corner and you cut so it will be like this see this then you cut this so you need to cut it like this okay and then you fold all these edges all these lines so whenever you have a circular object make sure you will cut it like this see now you put a gum on the extreme edges on this sides also and you hold it like this so then it will be like a cone it depends upon your accuracy how well you are cutting it and all so this is how it will appear see this cone this is top view front view side view and this is how it will look when you develop it development thank you